Good afternoon. A few years ago, a very good intellectual friend of mine stated I was crazy to blog. He was concerned about loss of privacy and words being used against me in the future. So why do I blog? Why do I still blog? Here are some non-exhaustive reasons. One, continued spiritual growth through research with philosophical theology, philosophy, religion, Bible. Why don't I just write Bible posts? Because I'm reformed and evangelical. Because I do study a lot of Bible. I listen to a lot of sermons. I don't publish everything I research. It percolates in my mind and perhaps later it'll be an article. I don't know how I'll be hired. I don't know which department. I might be hired as a theologian, philosopher of religion. I have to know those areas of academia as well. This is why I'm researching the Langer book and the Perry book. I'm researching books on symbolic logic and fallacies. Second point, potential to assist readers and listeners. I don't believe I have a lot of readers compared to a lot of sites, but I have some readers and God willing, I'm ministering to these people. Third point, as with my formal academic approach, to continue to research and write on difficult subjects, especially on this blog. If I want to know about a difficult subject like symbolic logic, fallacies, theological concepts, Bible, Greek, exegesis, I can study them and force myself to learn them. This is why there's so many edits on this blog, because it's technical. Fourth point, to demonstrate that I'm not always serious and I'm a relatable academic. This was the criticism I received at CBC. Therefore, I write satire and theology. Fifth point, to increase my social pool, both online and offline. Sixth point, to increase work possibilities. I will be, God willing, relocating soon, and my formal academic work is vital from the United Kingdom, especially my MPhil and PhD, and my continued research and writing to stay sharp has helped me to find work where I can relocate. 